33, laparoendoscopic single site common bile duct exploration to be presented by Dr. Chabau. Yep. Uh, thank you, Chairman, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, please order off my presentation. Lapar oh, sorry. Where is the controller? Oh, sorry. Wrong. Right. Yeah. Uh, rubber endoscopic thing size surgery uh, has developed as a new surgical modality, producing uh, increased cosmetic benefits of a conventional endoscopic surgery. However, there are no reports about rest surgery in common bilateral exploration. This report presents a rest surgery to manage CBD stone by laparoscopic choridocotomy and C2 placement with favorable outcomes. CT scan demonstrated two t CBD stands. This slide shows the torca placement of our method. We are doing a multiple torca method. Three trocas were inserted to the peritoneal cavity, indicated as blue cross circle. A Babcock forceps was directly inserted into the peritoneal cavity, indicated at closed circle. The patient was placed in an inverted Y position, and a small novel incision was added. Here you can see a nice trocar placement. There is enough space between trocars. Surgeon stand to the left side of the patient. Scarpist stand to between his legs. After confirmation of CBD, cholecystectomy was started with cut of serosa. Confirmation of uh, critical, critical view of safety is very important at this point. Cystic artery was divided after clipping. A small incision was added to the cystic duct. In this case, there was an incarcerated stone and the stone was in extracted. C-tube was inserted. Interoperative ultrasonography was performed to confirm CVD. A small incision was added to the CBD in the suprapancreatic region. Stone was extracted with quicklime forceps. Choridogoscopy was performed. As for hepatic side, there is no problem because the direction of scope is straightforward. There is no residual stone in hepatic duct. The problem would be an uh, insertion of scope to the jordanal side. The assist of left hand forceps would be very helpful to insert the scope to the jordanal side. You can see a terminal point of CVD, and uh, there is no residual stone. As for the closure of CBD opening with regular forceps, it's possible but needed extra efforts comparing to conventional laparoscopic surgery. In this case, Four interrupted sutures were added. A mechanical manipulator, radio surgical system was introduced to the suturing. This manipulator has deflectable and rotatable shape. Radius enables us to achieve the optimal penetration angle and was useful for both uh, intracorporeal suturing and ligation 
for the closure of common bile duct opening hole. Six interrupted sutures were added in this case. C tube was fixed with elastic band and clips. Cystic duct was divided. Peritoneal cavity was rubbed with saline. Gold water was retrieved. J work drainage was placed to the Molson patch from Naval incision. One month later, you can see almost invisible scar on the Naval. We perform rest surgery for 11 patients who have common bile duct stone. The median number of stone was 5.8, and the median diameter of stone was 9 millimeter. Stone clearance from the CBD was achieved for all the patients except one case because of incarcerated stone. We could not remove stone, which was incarcerated to the bottom part of CBD. This patient was converted to open surgery no mortality was associated with this procedure, and uh, two wound infection was drained without anesthesia, and another minor bile leakage was observed. No recurrent stone was observed during follow-up period. Conclusions. The rest surgery have been successfully applied to common bile duct exploration as a variable alternative to conventional laparoscopic surgery. This method is technically feasible and produces superior cosmesis. Radius may have, advan have advantages, especially in less surgery. Sorry. At the end of my presentation, I have a social message. As you know, Japan was attacked by serious earthquake and tsunami recently. We are still ha been having a tough time, but some people have started to recover their ordinary life. This picture is a uh, current Sendai, and where is one of the damaged city. My friend kindly sent me. Also. We've received so many warm messages and encouragement from the people around the world. Especially, we Japanese surgeons have received a thoughtful message from Seiji's community telling that uh, they are with us in support and spirit. I want to express my appreciation for Seiji's community and all the people around the world. Domo, arigato. I believe that we'll be able to rebuild everything we brought. Thank you for your support and thank you for your, uh, your attention. Thank you. Thank you for that very, very uh, nicely done uh, video that very nicely demonstrated your technique. And uh, we can assure you, I think all, all of us have been moved uh, by the stirring pictures that we've seen that your colleagues have uh, presented at this uh, meeting. Uh, first microphone there. Uh, I'm H. Chopra from New York. Um, my question is, uh, all of us uh, general surgeons in the audience, we in the, in the U.S., we don't do as many CBD explorations mm -hmm. uh, because most of the patients are done, uh, ERCPs are done. Right. So we don't have that kind of experience. Mm -hmm. uh, my question to you is, um, uh, if you have larger stones mm -hmm. and you have to use energy devices, mm -hmm. will that this approach be, uh, you'll be, will it be possible to perform? Mm -hmm. uh, we really do not use energy, energy device to extract uh, stone uh, because uh, there is no need to do that. 
just uh, use an uh, uh, endoscopic balloon to extract a stone. That Have you used, uh, uh, you know, baskets through? Yes, yes, uh, I use it. I used to use it, but uh, it's a very, uh, uh, very thin and uh, not so strong, strong uh, to uh, extract the stone. So I believe that uh, balloon uh, through the endoscope, I mean, a coloscope is uh, better than a wire device. Thank you. Question over here. Uh, yes, Kent Van Sickle from uh, San Antonio. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a question about your wound infections. So I know in 11 patients you had right. two wound infections. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just curious if you can elaborate on that a little bit. Uh, I'm going to guess that your mean BMI in these patients, uh, like for example here in the U.S., that's going to be, they're going to be in the 30s, mm -hmm. the right. typical biliary colic mm -hmm. patient. Mm -hmm. um, and do you think it's related maybe to tissue ischemia, OR time, and, and were there any consequences of the mm -hmm. wound infections mm -hmm. like herniation, mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. like that? Good question. Mm -hmm. Uh, actually, uh, we had uh, two patients for uh, wound infection, and uh, act currently uh, we changed our drainage method from lateral side of uh, abdomen uh, with uh, <coughs> nine French uh, drainage tube. It's a very uh, small tube. Uh, I think that uh, contamination of uh, CBD stone is much higher than a regular uh, gold blood stone. You know what I mean? So it would be. Uh, it might be a problem uh, to drainage from navel incision to prevent uh, uh, further in infection. So I recommend to uh, drainage from our lateral side with another uh, drainage tube. You know what I mean? Okay, thank you very much. I think we've got, in the interest of time, we need to move on. We thank you again for this very, very superb uh, video presentation and for your words of uh, what this uh, disaster has meant to Japan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.